Do you ever wonder how self-made millionaires made it and why do many instant millionaires go bankrupt? In today's video, we'll learn some of the key lessons from the book, The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by Harv Ecker and learn how one's mindset plays a vital role in your journey towards financial success. So let's start. Know your money blueprint. What is a money blueprint? Think of your money blueprint as your financial DNA. It's a set of beliefs, attitudes, and thought patterns you've inherited or developed over time about money. Some people always say that rich people are bad and don't want to talk about money because they think that money is evil. These phrases aren't just what you consciously think about money, it's happening deep in your subconscious mind. Well, it's like the autopilot for your financial life. It silently guides your financial decisions, your actions, and even your results. But most of us aren't even aware of our money blueprint. It's like a hidden operating system running our financial lives in the background. There are two main categories, the rich money blueprint and the poor money blueprint. The rich money blueprint is all about abundance. It's about believing that there are endless opportunities to make money, that financial success is not a zero-sum game, and that wealth is a natural state of being. On the other side, we've got a poor money blueprint. This is where scarcity reigns. It's all about believing that there's never enough money, that rich people are somehow unethical, and that financial success is just a distant dream. Now here's a kicker. Your money blueprint isn't set in stone, it's malleable, it can be changed, reprogrammed, and upgraded. And here's how. It starts with self-awareness. You've got to identify those money scripts in your head that have been holding you back. What are your core beliefs about money? Where did they come from? Once you've got that down, it's time for some serious rewriting. Replace those limiting beliefs with empowering ones. If you've been telling yourself that money is the root of all evil, it's time to flip the script to money is a tool for good. Invest in your financial education. Many people find themselves on the financial struggle bus simply because they lack the knowledge. It's like trying to drive a car without ever having taken a driving lesson. You're bound to hit some bumps in the road. Financial education is the game changer. Imagine you're on a treasure hunt. Without a map or clue, your chances of finding the treasure are slim to none. Financial education is your treasure map. It empowers you with the knowledge and tools needed to navigate the complex world of money. You learn the rules of the game and how to play strategically, accompanied with effective money management. By the way, it isn't instinctual. It's a learned skill, knowing how to create budgets, track expenses, and save money intelligently. It is a foundation for building a solid financial future and comes the art of investing. Well, investing can be daunting, especially for beginners, but learning the world of stocks, bonds, real estate, and other investment vehicles, it will equip you with the skills to make informed investment decisions that can grow your wealth over time. Continuous learning about finance exposes you to various strategies, from starting a business to creating passive income streams like monetizing your YouTube channel, allowing you to choose the path that aligns with your goals and risk tolerance, and also exposes you to spot scams, the red flags, and protects your hard-earned money from fraudulent schemes. In the words of Harv Ecker, the more you learn, the more you'll earn. And by the way, since we are talking about investing, one thing that pops into our mind is the stock market, which is very intimidating for a lot of us. With all the stocks to choose from, of course, it would be hard for us to pick the right companies to invest in, especially if we don't have any clue on what to look at. So one platform that helped me out tremendously in researching and analyzing companies is simply Wall Street. Instead of jumping from website to website, it's all here. From past performance, valuations, comparisons, everything you need to know to easily filter out companies. And it also updates you on the recent happenings about the company, from earnings release, dividends, insider buying or selling, and when the stock is trading at a discount, which is very important for a long-term investor, and it doesn't stop there. They also have a portfolio tracker that lets you easily analyze the health of your portfolio, detailed returns, and a lot more. So if you want to try it out, they offer their basic plan forever free. And if you do want to avail of their paid plan, then by using my link, you can get up a 40% discount. So what are you waiting for? Make your investing journey easy with Simply Wall Street. Now back to the video. Take action. Now it's time to take action. It's where the real magic happens when you put that knowledge into action. Here's why this matters. Imagine you're a gardener. You've read books, attended seminars, and watched countless videos on gardening techniques. You know all there is to know about nurturing plants, but here's the catch. If you never actually plant seeds, water, and tend to your garden, you'll never see any fruits of your labor. The same principles applies to wealth building. 
You can study investment strategies, budgeting methods, and business principles, but if you don't put them into practice, your financial garden will remain barren. Some people hold back from taking action because of fear, fear of failure, fear of the unknown, and even fear of success. Do you know what the antidote to fear is? It's when you take action, because you gain experience and knowledge that can help you overcome those fears. It's like diving into a pool. The first splash might be chilly, but once you're in, you realize it's not so bad. When you take action and achieve even small financial victories, it boosts your belief in your ability to reach larger goals. Confidence is a powerful motivator and a crucial ingredient for financial success. Don't let your knowledge gather dust on the shelves of your mind. Take action, no matter how small, to start implementing what you've learned. Whether it's starting that side hustle, investing your savings, or creating a budget and sticking to it, every step forward counts. Remember, financial progress is a journey, not a sprint. Raise your financial thermostat. What is a financial thermostat? Think of it as your internal setting for what you believe you're worthy of achieving financially. It's a comfort zone of your wealth. If your thermostat is set at 300000 a year, you'll find a way to make around that amount. No more, no less. Now this thermostat isn't fixed, it's adjustable. You can reset it to a higher level. Just like you can program your house temperature to a colder one when it's hot outside. Raising your financial thermostat isn't about being greedy or materialistic. It's about unlocking your full potential and creating the financial means to live the life you desire. It is closely linked to your self-worth. If you believe you're only worth a certain income, that's what you'll gravitate toward. It is where you feel safe and secure. That was your comfort zone. But here's a paradox. Real growth happens outside your comfort zone. Raising your financial thermostat pushes you to step into uncharted territory, encouraging personal and financial growth. So here are some tips on how to raise your financial thermostat. First, be aware of your current standing and what you're capable of earning and achieving. After that, identify any limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Free yourself from them and replace them with empowering beliefs. You can also surround yourself with individuals who have successfully raised their financial thermostats, learn from their experiences, and soak up their positive mindset. Lastly, don't despise rich people. Don't despise them. Learn from them. It is a learning opportunity. Rich people have experiences, strategies, and unique insights. Despising them is like closing the door to valuable lessons that could benefit your financial journey. The act of hating them starts from having a scarcity mindset. It's like you're implying that the amount of riches and success in this world was only limited. That if someone else can have it, you can't. That is a poor thinking. Change it. That's why surrounding yourself with wealthy people can motivate you. They provide the evidence that financial freedom is attainable. When you see others achieve it, you will also believe that you can. Learning from them is a perk when building relationships with rich people. The other one is connections. It will open up an opportunity whether it's having a mentor, a partnership, or collaboration. You can expand your network. It can be a game changer. So remember, to become rich and successful is a commitment. It is not a dream and wishful thinking. This financial journey will require time and effort. You need dedication and persistence. So try to implement these ideas and urge yourself to continue to learn and take action. With that, I hope you've learned something from this video. And if it did and still haven't clicked the like button, I'd appreciate it if you do so before leaving. Thank you and see you in the next video.